Law enforcement agencies are struggling to keep and find officers to fill their ranks. One area police department's getting stronger. The Nebraska Fraternal Order of Police surveyed 225 agencies across the state. They found only one agency thriving with new recruits, Bellevue Police. The department has a new chief who's getting national attention for his leadership and unique recruitment efforts. As KATV News Watch 7's Michelle Bandura reports, he believes the future is female. 42, which corner? 41, that's service from 240. 35 Officer Jess Manning with Bellevue Police is one of about 400 women officers in the entire state of Nebraska. Female officers can step up to the plate and handle things if we need to. Where is he? Where is he? Up the hill? 400 out of 3,825 Nebraska officers. But I just assumed they didn't apply. They're just not applying, you know. Ken Clary became Bellevue's top cop in September of 2020, leaving a 26-year career with the Iowa State Patrol. Like most law enforcement agencies experiencing a shortage, Clary needed to hire officers right away. But he wanted to be strategic with his recruiting. If you just blanket put out that you're hiring, and somebody looks from the outside in and they see just a bunch of six foot two white males with crew cut haircuts, you know, are they going to feel welcomed coming in the door? The Bellevue it's Chief's really blunt bad. talk of police problems includes a phrase not many men utter. We've got to get rid of this toxic masculinity out of policing. Toxic masculinity came to mind when he heard departments would not hire women over fears sexual harassment claims would go up. Masculinity is one piece of the puzzle, but in policing, I would argue historically, it's been overvalued or, or not overvalued, but allowed to take too much um, of this, the space. There's a whole bunch of paint cans down there. Jeez. Clary is making room for more women to wear the badge, like Officer Pam Volk, who came out of retirement after 25 years as an Omaha police sergeant to work in Bellevue, specifically for Clary. We've been getting a lot of graffiti reports in this area, okay. and it's some of these are new names that are on here. I think these are names. The city hired Clary to fill the seat left vacant when Mark Elbert retired. Elbert came under fire from the police union for sexism, racism, and other allegations. He retired after an internal investigation cleared him. He's denied the claims. Hey, where are you going? 34-year-old Officer Manning made a lateral move from another metro agency where she worked at the past 12 years. I saw a lot of change coming to Bellevue Police, a lot of forward thinking, a lot of positive leadership, and some really amazing morale here, and a lot of that came from Chief Clary. This here is a lateral hire class that we had, which was three of five female. Clary hangs pictures of his new officers behind his desk and emails out the flyers to the rest of the department to put a face to the name. Overheard somebody say, do you notice something with this? And the other person said, what? And they said, it doesn't look like us. I know there's comments out there of, oh, it's affirmative action. Oh, you're passing up good qualified male applicants just because you want females. And that's not the case. So three cars involved? Before Clary became chief, Bellevue had four female officers. By January of 2020, he's more than tripled that number to 15, with nine of his last hires all women. And Clary's force is the largest it's ever been at 107, with a goal of 111 by October. We created this room. It's our nursing room. Uh, we're proud of it. He's making women feel welcome and included, not an afterthought. If there are women on your force and they're of birthing age, we should be thinking about it. He eliminated the policy where officers couldn't take extended medical leave twice in two years that could affect women with problem or back-to-back -back pregnancies. Is to make women more welcome, you know, changing the whole atmosphere of the department so that they feel more welcome. It's not a... a a guys club, if you will. Clary also changed the uniform policy, taking out gender when it comes to earrings, now allowing all officers, male and female, to wear stud earrings and more than one if they like. We have people 
who can wear beards, as you saw. We have people who can have sleeve tattoos. Why can you have a beard and a sleeve tattoo, but not more than one set of earrings? That doesn't make sense to me. Hey, man. I got taser out. As this mother of four, all five foot four of her, chases a suspect on the run. What did I do? There you go, man. What did I do? Careful, careful, careful. What did I do? Hey, let's just get out of the woods, okay? She says she always tries communication before confrontation. And we kind of talked him through it. He responded well. They got some cuffs on him and nobody got hurt. That's the goal. Yeah. Chief Clary says he also wants to hire more women officers because studies have shown women can de-escalate situations like we just witnessed with Officer Manning when she apprehended a drunk driving suspect on the run. Women as a whole have fewer complaints, fewer use of force, fewer lawsuits due to use of force. Um, they communicate better. All of these are, are proven through studies. Um, why would we, those are the things we're looking for in policing. You know, why would we not target women? Maybe we just see the ability to communicate. Maybe sometimes we think less with our muscles. Have you ever had to use your weapon? No, I've had to display it many times. Um, fortunately, have never had to um, fire my gun. And that's how Chief Clary wants to keep it for the community that counts on his department to keep everyone safe. We are doing our best to try to be what our community would expect us to be, which would be inclusive, um, open-minded, uh, welcoming to everyone. In service to county. In Bellevue, Michelle Bandur, KETV Newswatch 7. Now there is a nationwide initiative called 30 by 30. It aims for 30% of sworn law enforcement personnel to be female by the year 2030. That number is currently 12%. Chief Clary was the first Nebraska law enforcement leader to sign on. Only two other agencies, the Sarpy County Sheriff's Department and Alliance Police, have also taken the pledge.